Hormone imbalances are one of those things that a lot of people, let me correct myself, a lot of you people are still dealing with that's keeping you fat and weak even though you're spending a lot of time lifting in the gym and you think your eating is on point too. We'll address that another day. That's a whole other conversation. But this is one of those things that can be impacting your workouts, your recovery, your progress, and you don't even know it. So today we're going to cover three reasons why your hormone production, or more specifically for the guys out there, your testosterone production is absolute dog. Number one, sleep. Your sleep is garbage and hustle culture has done nothing to help that. This idea that we have to perpetually be out there grinding, hustling, making money, stacking that paper, making those goals a reality, that's not done anything to help people actually be the best possible version of themselves they can be. When it comes down to it, a lot of people aren't getting enough sleep, not only just to see great progress in the gym and adequate fat loss and adequate strength gains, but they're just not getting enough sleep to be good human beings. Not having enough sleep can impact mood, it can impact decision making, it can impact memory, and a whole host of other things. But the biggest thing here is that a lot of people are thinking that it's okay to get around six, sometimes four or five hours of sleep a night. That is not adequate. What you're actually gonna need to optimally make sure that you're able to produce proper hormones so that you can heal from your workouts, so that you can progress properly and gain strength, so that you can burn fat optimally, is approximately nine hours of sleep. Eight you could probably get away with, but nine is gonna be the one that's gonna hit the optimal sweet spot. So start by trying to get eight, but make sure you're trying to get nine because that's gonna help you get the absolute most out of your workouts. Two, your diet is so much more garbage than you think it is. And when I say that, it's more about optimizing the little elements that make for an actually good, solid, well-constructed diet. The thing is, a lot of people don't know that there are three things in your diet alone that could absolutely destroy your body's ability to properly produce hormones that'll help you in the gym and help you in day-to-day -day life. One, not getting in enough fat. If you're not getting in enough fat, good fats, things that allow you to get the EPAs and DHAs that you need so that your brain can function properly and the rest of your body can function properly. Cell walls are composed of fat. It's going to take good fats to maintain strong, healthy walls so that your immune system functions properly. And if you're not getting enough good fats in your diet, your hormone production is going to be compromised. Testosterone levels will be significantly compromised. Two, carbohydrate intake. A lot of people fall for either the low fat or the low carb diet and end up completely neglecting a macronutrient, thereby absolutely obliterating their body's ability to properly produce hormones. In this particular case, not having enough carbohydrates is gonna significantly compromise your body's ability to produce hormones as well. So for those of you guys out there who are following a low carb diet for whatever reason, there's a decent chance your T levels are in the toilet. So you might wanna rethink that. Or go ahead and get your testosterone levels tested. See if maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? If I'm wrong, then I can just shut up. You can click off this video. But I have a feeling you're here for a reason. So let's continue. The last one is overall caloric intake. If your overall caloric intake is too low, another reason why you're probably not going to be producing optimal amounts of testosterone. This is one of those things that you don't really notice is going to be a big deal, but you have to find extremes in order to really see it in action. Bodybuilders who are in prep and at really low low caloric intakes, and even some of those shows, those survivor-like shows, where the contestants are put in an island and they don't have anywhere near enough food to get by until they have to kind of hunt and gather to figure it out, Bears Grylls has one of those shows. They actually talk about how they are super hungry, how they have really low calories, and how their sex drive absolutely disappears. Can you guess why that happened? Yeah, compromised hormone production. So T-levels, dumpster. So progress, zero, none happening. So optimal amount of calories, optimal amount of carbohydrates, optimal amount of fat. If you can get yourself to that place, you're optimally gonna be producing testosterone, which is gonna help you in your workouts significantly. Number three on our list, and one that is actually just way more widespread than you'd think, stress. A lot of people are just under so much more stress than we used to experience as a society. 
And this is compromising testosterone production on a wide scale. It's one of those reasons why testosterone boosters end up being suggested to such a wide grouping of people. If it was that we were living under, for the most part, optimal conditions, really it would only have to be people in the neighborhood of about 35 and up who need to be suggested a testosterone optimizing product. But we're at a point where even high school kids are under so much stress that it can be significantly impacting their body's ability to produce testosterone optimally. So things that are inside these testosterone optimizing products like ashwagandha, which are clinically proven to help with the stress response, are going to be super helpful for these individuals. So it'll help balance out their moods, make them feel better, allow them to increase their just general quality of life, but at the same time also allow them to produce testosterone more optimally again, which could have a whole host of other benefits to their general day-to-day -day life and if they're a lifter, especially to their lifts and their progress. This is an extremely touchy subject for some, but quite frankly, the baseline information is just there. We, we can't ignore it. Stress is a part of life, and in order to deal with it, you need to figure out some stress management techniques, and supplementation cannot hurt, especially in those scenarios. It can be very helpful, and I would definitely consider it as well if I was in school dealing with exams and high pressure sort of lifestyle that would require me to manage stress on a pretty high level on a regular basis. Anyhow, that pretty much takes care of this video. If you found that helpful, useful, entertaining go ahead throw a comment in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you guys we're going to be doing some more content about steroids and trt i think is the next one on my list so look out for that and if you want to see a future video or have a topic in mind do let me know in the comment section below someone else actually requested that i do one on noel dizel so i'll be tackling that very soon but that does it for today so stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together Peace.